Good morning, students. We are doing revision of our lessons, and today is lesson three, exploring Windows Seven. Microsoft Windows is the mostly used operating system because it is very user friendly, and Bill Gates is the co-founder of Microsoft. He is the world's richest person. In this lesson, first topic is Windows Explorer. It is a program that helps in viewing. and managing the files and folders to open the windows explorer you need to click on the start button and then click on all programs and select accessories and finally you need to select the windows explorer option it will open the windows explorer window to open the windows explorer you can also click the windows explorer icon on the task bar the windows explorer screen is divided into two panels that is left pan and right pan the left pan is also known as navigation pan and it displays drives and folders the right pan displays the files or folders that present in the selected folder next creating a new folder to create a new folder you need to click on the new folder button on the toolbar there is one more way to create a new folder that is right click in the blank area in the right pan of the folder a yeah, short menu appear you need to select the new option and then click on the folder option it will create a new folder you can type the name of the folder and then press the enter key next renaming a file or folder you can change the name of an existing file or folder to do that you need to select the file or folder that you want to rename and then click on the organize button in the toolbar a drop down menu appears select the rename option and type the new name press the enter key your file or folder name will be changed and the another way is by right clicking on the file or folder that you want to rename a short menu appears select the rename option type the new name and press the enter key next copying a file or folder to copy a file or folder you need to select that file or folder and then click on the organize button in the toolbar select the copy option from the drop down menu and then select your destination where you need to paste the file or folder and then click on the organize button select the paste option from the drop down menu the another way is by right clicking on the file or folder that you want to copy and select copy option from the short menu now go to the destination and right click on the destination select paste option from the short menu next moving a file or folder copying a file or folder means copy the file or folder without removing it from its original location but moving a file or folder means completely removing the file or folder from its original location and move it to the another location to move a file or folder you need to select the file or folder that you want to move and then click on the organize button on the toolbar select the cut option from the drop down menu and then select the destination where you want to move the file or folder click on the organize button and select the paste option from the drop down menu another way is by right clicking on the file or folder select cut option from the start menu after that select the destination and right click on the destination folder and select paste option from the drop down menu next deleting a file or folder first you need to select the file or folder that you want to delete and then click on organize button select delete option from the drop down menu a delete folder or delete file message box will appear click on yes button to delete the file or folder another way is by right clicking on the file or folder that want to delete select the delete option from the short menu it also shows the delete folder or delete file message box click on the yes button to delete the file or folder when a file or folder is deleted it moves to the recycle bin if you want to restore it you can restore from the recycle bin if you want to delete the file or folder permanently click on the empty recycle bin option in the recycle bin window restoring a deleted file or folder to restore a deleted file or folder first you need to double click on the recycle bin icon on the desktop the recycle bin window will open you need to select the file or folder that you want to restore after that click on the restore this item button on the toolbar 
that file will be goes to its original location. Next, searching files or folders. You can search a file or folder by its name or extension or a part of the name. To search a file or folder, first you need to open the drive or the folder where you want to search the required file and then type a word or part of a word in the search box. The search will begin automatically. The contents will be displayed on the window related to the word that you search. Next, some shortcut keys to do some actions. First, F2. To rename a file or folder, you can select the file or folder that you want to rename and then press the F2 key to rename it. To copy a file or folder, Ctrl plus C. To paste a file or folder, shortcut key is Ctrl plus V. And to cut a file or folder, the shortcut key is Ctrl plus X. To delete a file or folder temporarily, select the file or folder and then press the delete key on the keyboard. To delete a file or folder permanently, press shift plus delete key on the keyboard. Next, viewing files or folders. There are many ways to arrange and identify the files while viewing them. It can be done in different ways by clicking on the drop down arrow on the toolbar. There are Extra large icons, large icons, medium icons, small icons, list, details, tiles and content. This is extra large icons view. It displays the very big icons of the files or folders. This is large icons view. It displays large icons of the files on folders. The extra large icons view and large icons view will be very useful when working with images and video files. This is medium icons view. It displays the files or folders as medium icons. And this is small icons view. It displays files and folders as very small icons without a preview of its content. Next list view. It displays the contents as a list of file or folder. This is details view. It displays the detailed information about your file or folder including name, type, size and date. This is styles view. It displays the files and folders as medium size icons and it displays basic information of the file or folder that is size and type. And this is content view. It displays each file and folder on a separate row along with their detailed information. Next libraries. It helps you to access all of your content of one type by a single folder. This is a new feature of Windows 7 operating system. It has four default libraries. They are documents, music, pictures and videos. To access a file from a library, first you need to add it into the library. To add a folder in the documents library, first you need to right click on the folder and then move the pointer to include in library option on the short menu and then click on the documents option. Now that selected folder will show up in the document library and also its original location. Next, today's homework. The question is, write all the shortcut keys and their functions that you learned in this lesson. I repeat the question. Write all the shortcut keys and their functions that you learned in this lesson. Next, an open question to answer in the comment section. The question is, write the missing options of the organize button. Here is the organize menu. There are some options missing. You need to write the missing options from that short menu. Next question of the day. Your today's question is identify the view of files or folders. In this window, which view of files or folders are selected that you need to identify and answer this question in the online exam section of your school app. Now today's class has been completed. If you have any doubts, ask me in the comment section.
Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. God bless you.